So today I'm talking about a P0708 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0708 code? Well, it's a transmission range sensor A circuit high. And so what does this mean? Well, basically, there's what's called a transmission range sensor that's just reporting back to the computer what gear the transmission's in. But when you get this P0708 code, the computer's seen a problem with this sensor, and so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. You know, one thing to note about these transmission range sensors is that depending on the manufacturer, and they can't have different names, it could be called a neutral safety switch, a gear position sensor, an inhibitor switch. So be sure to keep that in mind. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0708 code? Well, the most common things that's going to cause this is going to be either that sensor's gone bad or the wiring going to it. And so there's going to be some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. You can go and test that sensor. And then if the sensor's good, go and test the wiring. Or you can go test the wiring. And if the wiring's good, then very likely that sensor's bad. If you do go to work on a vehicle with this code, you will need to get a wiring diagram to know where the sensor's located along with what's going on inside the wiring and different things like this. And then you can use a multimeter and go and check and be sure there's no open or short, anything like that going on. It's also going to be a good idea to go check for any blown fuses, basically any computer-related fuse, like anything labeled like TCM, PCM, ECU, anything like that. Although usually if a fuse does go bad, that's going to cause a lot more codes. So if you are just getting a P0708 code and not a lot of other codes, then very likely it's not going to be a blown fuse. But the most common causes of a P0708 code, especially if there's no other codes, is that either that transmission ring sensor has gone bad and needs to be replaced or the wiring going to it. The next thing that could cause this is that the transmission's having some kind of issue. There's like a bad valve body or possibly there's some kind of issue with the shift linkage that's going to that range sensor, something along those lines. If the shift linkage comes loose, then very likely you won't be able to go into gear. If there is some kind of other issue going on with the transmission, like a bad valve body, or the fluid's really dirty or low or something like that, then usually you'll be getting a lot of other codes. But the next thing that could cause this is that the transmission's having some kind of problem. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with the computer. There's like a bad transmission control module or a bad powertrain control module. Although again, usually if that happens, you begin a lot of other codes. Usually when the computer goes bad, it doesn't just give you one code. If you are getting a lot of other codes, you think the computer might be a problem. Be sure that the battery's good, that the connections are all good. You can even check the alternator output and be sure that's good. Because all these computers, they all need a good stable power supply along with a good ground. Or else that can throw them off and just cause them to do weird things. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0708 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.